Sa de crap. It's Tuesday, October 15th. I'm JP Mestanza, and this is Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Let's start with our top story. Talang police are reporting that a fatal epileptic asthma attack is believed to have killed a man whose pickup truck ran off Tepkasatri Road in Talang early this morning. The incident was called in at about 4 a.m. today, having taken place at the road on Tepkasatri Road, just north of the road that heads to Nayang and the airport. At this point, police believe that the man suffered a, a fatal epileptic asthma attack while driving from his home to Talang Hospital when he lost control of the vehicle and veered off the road. Just hours before, at about 8 p.m. last night, the man had received emergency treatment for a severe asthma attack at Talang Hospital. Buriram Hospital is issuing a massive apology after admitting that their staff mistakenly gave the wrong corpses to two separate families in the province, an error that wasn't corrected until the nick of time. 47-year-old Um Tao Titong and 75-year-old Lamom In Samram both died last Thursday at Buriram Hospital and both were moved to the hospital morgue, according to the Bangkok Post. And after staff performed the regular procedures of post-mortem care, they wrapped the bodies in sheets of white cloths in preparation for collection by their families for religious ceremonies. The deputy hospital director explained that his staff failed to verify the bodies for the family members of either women and signed documents for the body's release from the hospital. The family of 47-year-old Um had taken the corpse to a local temple for a chanting ceremony on Thursday night before the body was to be cremated soon after. Hours later, during the chanting ceremony, the ambulance arrived with the real body of Um as the family didn't realize as well that the body was not Um's right there at the temple. The volunteers delivered the correct coffin and profusely apologized for the mistake, which wasn't noticed until the undertakers of another temple finally looked to verify the other body. Still, the son of 75-year-old Lamom says he was lucky that the mistake was corrected because, quote, I would have cremated a woman who was not my mother. Bangkok City Hall's policy of clearing street vendors and evicting old Bangkok communities is being blamed for the increased number of homeless people on the streets of the Thai capital. That's according to the Secretary General of the Isarachon Foundation. Achara Sorawari, the head of the foundation, a nonprofit that campaigns on behalf of the homeless as well as sex workers and other underprivileged groups, she made the comments during a seminar to mark World Homeless Day on October 10th, last Thursday adding that 4,392 homeless were counted in Bangkok, 10% higher than last year. Policies from the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, the BMA, she says, has been the main catalyst for the rise in homeless, saying pavements offered a space where poor people could trade, but the regulations to remove vendors have negatively impacted them, adding that providing shelters is not sustainable and is not enough. Figures published in the Bangkok Post show that 40% of homeless have menial jobs, with garbage collecting being the most common, which can bring about 300 to 400 baht a day of income. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Rescue workers in Krabi are breathing a sigh of relief after spending an hour catching a four meter long king cobra from a sewer described as one of the largest they had ever captured. The alarm was sounded on Sunday with seven rescue workers responding to an estate that was built on a plot that was once jungle and the hour long operation saw them corner the cobra into a dark cramped drainage pipe 
splashing around as it tried to slither back into the pipe before it was finally captured. The King Cobra weighed 15 kilos and was over 4 meters in length. The group later released the King Cobra back into the wild. Mounds of garbage at the Chalong Pier are now finally cleared after a directive from Governor Pakapong Tavipat who ordered the trash be removed from the busy tourism facility immediately. Earlier today, the mounds of garbage reeking of rotting waste were cleared up by Chalong municipality workers after being in open sight of the thousands of tourists boarding and disembarking tour boats using Chalong Pier. The PPAO, the Phuket Provincial Administration Organization, otherwise known as the Obojo, they usually operate the whole thing using money collected in fees from all operations using the pier. But after three days of not picking it up, it got to be too much, and a call was made to the governor who dispatched workers immediately. Officials at the PPAO, meanwhile, who are in charge of the garbage collection, they say that although 20 staff are hired to look after the pier, it's difficult for them to maintain workers on just 9,000 bottom month salary and promise to collect from now on and to buy more garbage trucks. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button and check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Puka News page. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Mm -hmm.